I hate to see what's going on in our country. You know, I really do. Because I think this is a good world. I think this is a great country. Um, it's just that things get painted with a broad brush around in, in this world these days. There's a lot of good. There's more good than bad uh, in this world. And uh, I think, you know, you look at, uh, I think one of the greatest leaders this world has ever seen was Martin Luther King. I don't know that there's ever been a better man or better leader. And, uh, you know, to me, he changed the world. He changed the world through love in the face of hate. He changed the world through peace in the face of violence. He changed the world through education in the face of ignorance. And he changed the world through Jesus. And boy, that's politically incorrect. But that's what he did. And it's amazing when we don't learn from our past, you, you know, how you can repeat your, your mistakes. And, um, but, uh, and then, you know, the Bible says, uh, the two greatest commandments. Uh, if we all live by those, there would be, be a lot of problems that go away. You know, it says, love the Lord with all your heart, all your mind, and all your soul. And the second one is, love your neighbor as you love yourself. It doesn't say love your neighbor if they're the same religion. It doesn't say love your neighbor if they're the same color as you. It doesn't say love your neighbor if they pull for the same team as you. It doesn't say love your neighbor if they're the same gender as you or whatever. Love your neighbor if, if they have the same sexuality as you. It just says love your neighbor as you love yourself. If we all live by that in this country, we wouldn't have near the problems that we have.